Holy flippin' moly, fellas. Today we have an absolute amazing video because I had to go all the way to America. I had to go all the way to Walmart behind me to pick up these tins. They're only available in Walmart in America. Um, apparently it's just an exclusive that they're not gonna release anywhere else. So I thought, you know what, let's fly all the way to Walmart, let's go to the store and buy these new Detective Pikachu tins because I'm so excited for the movie um, and these tins look really sick. So let's head inside, let's do it. You, you coming? Let's go, come on. Alright, now that we've made it into the store, we're gonna find what we're looking for. No, we're in the we're in the Barbie section. We're gonna we're gonna look for the, the Pokemon card section. Where is that? I don't know, maybe it's this way. Here we go. Here's the Pokemon card set. Oh! Oh, they're on the bottom, they're on the bottom shelf here. Found them fellas, they're right here on the bottom shelf. I've got none other than the brand new Mewtwo GX and Charizard GX tin right here. These bad boys are only available in Walmart in and America. No, they're available in Australia are now. Kidding? Are you serious? I flew all the way to the States to buy these tins and they're available in Australia now? Uh, Alright, let's hop on a plane. Let's get back to the unboxing studio and open these tins. Let's do it. So guys, I spy with my little eye. It looks like an absolute mystery, but somehow the Walmart exclusive tins, like these bad boys right here, the only way to get them was to be in America like three weeks ago and to go to your local Walmart and pick them up. Then all of a sudden, I don't know what happened. Collectible Madness, who I'll link in the description below, they sell Pokemon cards. They called me and they're like, Ando, those Detective Pikachu Walmart exclusives are being sold Australia-wide, starting right now. And pretty much they drove to my house, dropped these off, and then his son RJ dropped this bad boy off, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's the greatest day of my entire life. This right here is a full art Volcanion EX card, which looks absolutely amazing, so thank you so much for that one. But I'm literally shooketh. Like, how do you call this a Walmart exclusive and then go release it all of in Australia? So, you know, whatever, let's unbox these bad boys right here. I'm so excited because, you know what, I originally was sort of put to the side. I'm like, you know what, we're not going to get them. Don't worry about it. But now I have them in my possession. Both Charizard and Mewtwo. And I thought for the lols, for every single um, English booster we open, we'll crack open a Japanese booster and hopefully... It could lead to a full art secret red Detective Yoshida card. That would be so sick. By the way, a bigger mystery than why these came out in Australia, a bigger mystery than why the Japanese set has a secret red that the English doesn't, is why does Detective Pikachu's hat have two ends on it? There's the logo. The, okay, there's no logo there. But, like, why is there two? What's... What, do you wear it like this? Like, what are you... Do? I don't understand. Sherlock, what are you doing? Anyway, you know, apparently you wear it like that, but... It's got two ends to it. It's crazy. So, let's do this. Let's unbox these uh, tins right here. I've never seen one unboxed before. So, I guess we'll do the Mewtwo, and then we'll do the Charizard, our crowd favorite, and see what's inside. I already love the design of the tin. It's got the brick artwork, then embossed is the neon Pokemon logo and the Detective Pikachu logo. It's got Detective Pikachu, like, spray-painted there, there. Um, it's got Mewtwo on the side. That's pretty cool. Charizard, there's only two tins by the way, the neon logo again, choose the power of Mewtwo or Charizard, which one would you pick? I already know most of you guys are going to be like, the barcode Ando, but if you, if you can't pick the barcode, like what are you going to pick? Don't be weird, okay? This is not the channel to be weird, we're serious, 24 hours a day. Anyway, let's get the seal of approval off and see what we get inside. I think, yeah, I think it's like a lot of boosters actually. It's legit four Detective Pikachu boosters and two additional TCG boosters. Plus the uh, promo card. Wow, is this sort of replacing if you don't want to go buy the box or something? Okay, um, one, two, three, four. So we get four Detective Pikachu English boosters, Burning Shadows, and Guardians Rising. Then you get a code card as well. Merry Christmas, you guys can have that one. That's on the house, don't worry about it. Then you also get the GX card too. This is actually, like, value for money. Honestly, this Thursday, if you're gonna see the movie, I would legit just go buy these tins as well. Because then you'd have a boost pack from the movie ticket that you bought, and you'd have a stack of boosters and a promo as well. It's the exact same Mewtwo card they'd, like, put out everywhere. It's no different, but... It's a bit of an alternate to the box, I guess? Is that why they've done it? I mean, down the bottom, it's still, like, promo 196. The attacks are the same, the artwork's very much the same. I don't mind doubling up because it's one of the few times we're going to get a realistic artwork, but the tin also, like, absolutely fantastic job. 
So let's put you to the side. And do we crack it open? Maybe we'll do one tin, see what the pool's like, and then do another one. Okay, so we got four right there. So we'll crack open four of the Japanese after this one. I haven't opened an English Detective Pikachu booster in a hot minute. I don't know what I'm expecting. Maybe we can try and complete the set again. That'd be a good meme. You get a code card, so there you guys go. And we'll just start potting, I think. Not even worry about any card tricks. We got Jigglypuff. We got Psyduck as well. Magikarp. And then we've got another. Then a Hollow Arcanine. A couple of the rare ones I think that I've discovered are pretty rare in this set are the Mewtwo Hollows. Ludic Hollows. Yeah, it's got a bit of a hollow, bit of a hollow rare. Um. That's another really... Uh, Charizard's a pretty rare card as well. But it's not too hard to honestly complete the set. I think a lot of those harder cards to pull, honestly, you'll get them within like five boost packs. It's not going to be impossible. We got a Bulbasaur. Oh, I love this so much. Marchamp Holy Card as well. And I love that one of his attacks is literally directing traffic. All right. Second to last booster out of this tin. So far, no doubles, which is an amazing sign. It kind of means they've thought things through. There's another code card, so we've got a Charmander, Morlu again, Bulbasaur, and then a Slacking Holo card. That's also a uh, tough one to pull. It's the last card of the entire set, 18 out of 18. Okay, here we go. The final booster out of this Mewtwo GX tin. You, have you noticed we haven't pulled anything too insane, like a Charizard or a Mewtwo, or a, even a Ludicolo Barista for that fact, all right? Jigglypuff, Psyduck, a Magikarp, and then a Greninja! There we go, that's a uh, shiny star right there. So it looks like you get like one sort of shiny star. Interesting, this is a bit of a mystery fellas. I'm glad I got my uh, magnifying glass to uh, solve the mystery right here. But yeah, that, that is a bit of a weird one. So it looks like you get one good booster and three, uh, you know, so-so ones. Very, very curious at what the pull rates are like in these two English regular boosters. I hope that we pull a full art. That would be the best of all worlds. If they've gone and made these ones really good. To entice like people that went and saw the movie. They're like, you know what? Pokemon cards are good as well. Oh! It's a white and green code. Okay. Four from the back. Please be a full art or something. We've got a literal Murkrow. Pat Rat. Gligar. Fletchling Reverse. And then, oh, wow. Okay, that's a holo card. That's a Politoed right there. Basking in the sun, look at him. He's having the time of his life. Okay, here we go. Second to last booster. This is like a, a like smorkus board for one individual tin. Usually tins are like you used to get like three boosters per tin and one promo card, or you got like four boosters. Now we're getting like four, six plus a promo card and a code. I love it. Horsey, Mudbray, Grimer, and then a regular rare slow king. Hmm, pull ratios, 50-50. Alright, since we open four English, let's do four Japanese. Could you imagine? We get that uh, cigarette on the very first one. That'd be pretty classic. Alright, these ones are... Oh, they're all reverses. J Japan's literally like pooping on the English set right now. So we're gonna Magic up. Arcanine again. And then there we go, we pulled the Greninja on the very first booster. Yeah, look, Japanese boosters are a little bit OP. They're overpowered, guys. I know, they're really sick, though. I love them. Crack you open. We're going to go one from the back. Don't know why. Oh! We're pulling literally everything that we aim to pull in the English. It's just easy in the Japanese set. And it's more fun because all the cards are shiny reverses. So it just, like, looks better. All right. One from the back. I don't know if they Oh, there's no card trick! It's Charizard GX! Literally, what's on the front of this tin right here? Oh my gosh, how ironic is that? We managed to pull the Japanese Charizard GX. Actually, put you at the back, let's stock up. Then we got Mr. Mime, Psyduck, and Bulbasaur. Dude, this gets me so excited for the movie. Okay, last booster, and then we'll start up with the uh, English tin. It's not even a card trick, is it? It's not even one from the back. I know I keep doing that. We got a Charmander, Psyduck, Snubble as well, and a Ditto. Wow, that was a really solid four-pack opening. Okay, now it's time for the Charizard tin. This is the one I think everyone's going to pick in the store. Um, if you go hunting for these, like, in real life, I think you're going to find this one will be sold out and a lot of the Mewtwo's will be left over. But we'll find out. Let's have a look. Hopefully... Actually, no, I don't hope the pulls are bad. I hope the pulls are good in this, actually. I don't care. I'm, I don't know. I don't know about those two English random boosters they insert. I would have thought the pause should be really good, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we go with this one. Alright, so we get that Charizard GX. I did see that before. 
It looks amazing. It's regular standard, you know. I've only seen a hundred of those by now. I've pulled so many in the Japanese set. Um, then you get a code card. On the house, don't worry about it. Detective Pikachu Charizard code. And here we go. The booster packs. So yeah, let's open a couple of these boosters. And uh, you know what? We'll start with the really like... Oh, we'll start with the legit Pokemon Sun and Moon boost packs. And start with some absolutely amazing... Snap, crackle, and pop lock. Here we go. That's a white and green code for the boys. Four from the back. Swing around. We got a full art coming our way for sure. Lampern. We got a tentacle. Gourmet. Wishy washy. Vanillite. Clefairy. Sharpedo reverse. Oh my gosh. Are they going to do the same they did? Is it literally going to be a hollow and a regular rare? Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's another white and green. I, I have a feeling they should have done the pulls like this, and I think they have. We're gonna Guzma, then we're gonna Horsey, then we're gonna Ladybug, then it's yes. Oh, that's not even bad. Regular GX Neuburn is not even bad. That's actually quite nice. Distort, Sonic Volume, and Boom Burst GX. You know what? Everyone hates Neuburn GXs for some reason. I get a lot of hate when I pull it. Like, Ando, that's a trash pull. Put it in the garbage. Let's all have room respect. A GX is a GX. It's going to be okay. That still goes towards the final count of how many GXs we pulled. And we got four more. And I also absolutely adore the artwork of these boosters. We got four more Detective Pikachu Smackaroskis to go. Sorry about that. I had to reset the camera. The camera got so excited. It's like, what? Four more boosters to go? All right, here we go. One out of the four. I, again, we're just going to go for those Silver Star sort of cards. It's a bit sad that Japan really got it right in the fact that they've got GXs in the set, they've got a full art, one full art, that's all they need, one full art secret in the set, and like, every card's a reverse. It's great, every card's a holo card, like, I love that, but at the same token, oh, I, actually, it sounds a bit greedy, doesn't it? I'm happy that every card's a holo card, but I, there's something about the Japanese set where everything's a reverse and you still have that chance to get a GX, to get a full art card, to get something... It's pretty cool. All right, let's do it. We got a Psyduck, a Charmander, Bulbasaur, Holo. Yes! Oh, I was so psyched. There we go. Charizard, Holo. Really happy we got another one of those. This is actually a bunch of people's favorite Pokemon in the movie. They did a poll. Who were you most excited for? No one picked Detective Pikachu. The Pokemon that everyone's most excited for in the movie is legit Charizard. So, I'm sorry, Detective Pikachu. You didn't win that battle. Slacking Hollow to finish it off again. Okay, what are we hoping for now? What's everyone want? Maybe another Charizard? I personally want another Mewtwo because I haven't got many of those. We got a Magic Up, more loot, we got a Snubble, and then. Oh, that's a really good way to finish it off. Detective Pikachu, Surprise Attack, and Scout. Put you to the uh put you to the back. He, he pretty much runs the set, it's fair enough. Now, we unbox four of those, so we're gonna do four. Japanese boosters. Come on! For the boys, give me a secret rare Detective Yoshida. And if you haven't seen my booster box opening of this Japanese set, go check it out. It was so much fun. I, I still think about how good... Oh my gosh. We pull the cards that we're aiming to pull all the time in Japanese. But I still think about how good that real life Pokemon card artwork looks. And it's the third ever time there's a real human on a full art card. Like ever in Pokemon cards. And that's in this set. That is something special in itself. That's something that does get me excited, and I don't know why. Okay, here we go. Third boost back in. There's no sign. Oh, we got the Mewtwo! Fantastic, we got the Mewtwo. Big character in the movie. Massive character in the Pokemon cards. Like, he's a tough one to get. But it's not good enough. It's not what I'm hunting for. I want that full art. Come on! Let's do it! Here we go! Oh, it's Greninja GX as the... Final pull, should I say, or do we... You know what? Let's do another couple of boosters. I'm excited. This is sick. All right, Greninja GX. Let's put you at the back. I wonder if we can't get the whole so entire set. Let's just do it. Let's just try and get as many as we can. Mewtwo, Charizard, Greninja, the full art card. It's Ditto again. Oh, no. Magikarp, Arcanine, and Jigglypuff Fluffy. You guys over the Jigglypuff Fluffy or not, or are you still all mad? I'm very interested to see what people think after the movie. If they're still mad, the Jigglypuff's all fluffy. Okay, so we're a Bulbasaur. And then a Charizard. Regular Schmear. Or a Reverse Uncommon, I should say. Trim the top of that one off. Come on, let's do it. It's none of that. Then a Mewtwo GX as well. We're literally pulling all the GXs. But I'm not stopping there. I'm not stopping until we find 
the Full Art card of Doom. The one that everyone wants to see. The card that people didn't think would happen, but it ended up happening. You know the craziest part? Is I legit, when I went to Japan, I met the guy that's on the card. I mean, hashtag video coming soon on the channel. But I, yeah, I legit met the guy that's on the Full Art card. And he's- Oh, dude, that's one right there! That's who I met! That's the Full Art card! That's the secret rare! Oh my gosh, the fat snow was on there too. This is just, it doesn't even seem like a Pokemon card is that good looking. Oh my, it's my third one as well. Oh, it's so good. Fellas, that's the Detective Pikachu set. Let's have a bit of a recap right now. Everything we managed to pull, it was wild. You ready? Out of two tins and a bunch of boosters, we got Mewtwo GX, Greninja GX, Detective Pikachu Hollow, Noivern GX, oh. Belissi Hollow as well, Shorizard GX, Shorizard GX, Mewtwo GX. That is legit out of two tens in the stack of Japanese boosters. And a full art, uh, Detective Yoshida. Oh my gosh, definitely demolish like button if you're excited for Detective Pikachu movie. Let me know what you're thinking. Are you pumped up? Look at that, that's so creepy. And uh, yeah, hope you have a fantastic day. Let me know if you've opened these tens and what sort of balls you get. Most of all, we're gonna keep on gaming. Alright, guys, next time. Oh, uh, looks like I'm gonna see you then. Get it? I'll, I'll see you then. Alright, everyone's, I'm, I'm subscribing. Please don't. Alright, see you next video, guys.